Hello everybody, my name is Ash and I'm going to bring you some more Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay today. We're going to meet the uh, Angara Adventure and uh, I skipped to this one because I basically the new mission that popped up for Silver was uh, a melee specialist and hey, what do you know, this is a melee class and it's got XP bonuses. Maybe I could go with Gladiator but I thought this guy's leveled up and I need to level him up some more because this guy is probably going to be one of my platinum builds. It's a very popular build to use on platinum and gold. Uh, especially with the new updates where they f royally fucked up the, uh, oh yeah, look at that, cause it's a fucking remnant again. Hey, look at that, dampen us even more, don't fucking, whatever. Anyway, uh, this guy is pretty much a melee class. Uh, he's got the talon with a, with a finger bob, uh, melee and pistol damage uh, even though we're not going to be using that much uh, it's lighter than the shotguns uh, the, the difference between the bayonet on this and the shotguns isn't that much I think it's like 29 to 33 or something uh, actually you know, I'll, I'll actually have a look 33 yeah so like literally there's not much difference you know it's not it will I don't think it will be the difference between a one shot and a two shot that's just me so what we're going to be using today is the power efficiency mod uh, and obviously we're going to be using a melee class even though this, cl this is going to be buffed up to hell on this uh, particular mission type a uh, hand-to-hand -hand mission type we're going to be uh, having a gale time now car ITA has come back. He was in the past few videos. I don't know who the fuck he is, but anyway, everyone's going to be going Krogan, which is going to be funny. Which means we're going to be getting our kills stolen quite a bit, but it happens. So anyway, stealth grid, got four points up to cell capacity. Ideally, we'll be working on shield regen and then damage. Uh, Avenger strike is maxed out for damage, recharge speed, debuff, and stun slash synthetic slash primer. Uh, weapon training which skip and uh, since this Avenger strike even though it's a power it counts everything as it's all based on melee damage so we're going to be going with melee build uh, we could go with this but whatever we could, we'll be cloaking so it won't really be matter health regen and stuff very important makes it a bit survivable 50% melee damage and the melee momentum close combat momentum and that's pretty much the build <laughs> So, the important, I think this is, yeah, this is the first class that has Stealth Grid, I believe, that we've actually covered. So, the whole point of Stealth Grid, basically, is it's Cloak that you can use whenever you want. There's no cooldown. It doesn't have as many benefits as pros and cons to using both Cloak and uh, Stealth Grid, but Stealth Grid is more of a support power where you can cast it and everyone gets cloaked unfortunately there's no combat cloak but what you get with stealth grid is not only do you hide all your teammates but also you can uh, heal during your junior cloak so you don't have to invest a certain skill point you pretty much get that heal potential and you can cloak whenever you want you don't have to be you know in a situation where you don't have cloak, you know, you, you know, so there might be a situation where, hey, I don't have cloak. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Silver with hand-to-hand -hand combat as the mo mo modifier. Like, how how is this fair? I don't care. It's amazing. These guys aren't getting any of the any of my kills. Fuck you. These guys aren't getting my kills. <laughs> so there's a uh, you can't really tell because I'm pretty much one shotting everything anywhere. So I can't ask you he's using this gun.
for that. We also get support points for using cloak and active waves, so... Which is good for us, because we haven't actually uh, used our... Uh, we haven't actually uh, maxed out the challenge for this yet, so we can uh, hopefully get some good things out of it. Okay, here we go. Where are we going? Where are we going? I'm going in here now. Oh, you think that barrier's gonna fucking stop you? Okay, I don't know what you're trying to do. Get out of here. I hate those parari par par parriers, what the fuck you wanna call them? How does the fuck you wanna pronounce it? I hate them now because they have the same AI as like dogs, so what ends up happening is they end up bloody They end up just walking into you and fronting you and you're like They're too close to fucking you're like, it's annoying. It's just annoying. No, that was my kill. Whatever. But yeah, as you can see, this this guy is basically like the ninja of the uh, ninja class of of this game. You basically just go around, go invisible, and stab people in the back. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and it's a ve very very popular class to use, like especially if people want to solo. I've never actually tried solo gold yet, uh, but from the videos I've seen, and also there was a video on Reddit uh, the other day where someone soloed platinum, and it was a uh, fucking amazing. He, he used the uh, he used this class with the hurricane. Oh, of course I went for the bleed, or well, whatever, it counts as a fucking melee, si melee momentum, so I won't turn down the uh, botched assassination attempts. Ah. Shields. I mean, this thing's made. I mean, I'm not. It, it, I won't. I will say this. Above, like killing, you know, the the red bars. Not too reliable at one shotting, but we are successfully doing a lot of damage. Like I said, the stun makes the uh, follow up stab attack very reliable. Why have I got four shots in this gun? It's probably dampened the. Uh, oh wait, no, I've got a. Uh, Magazine capacity, that explains it. Also the melee synergy from like going into a crowd of people. I mean you saw the start of the game. Uh, you go in, get the first kill and then you keep stabbing and stabbing and stabbing because you get that. The whole point of momentum is uh, the more you kill with melee, the more powerful it becomes. Uh, there is a limit to that. And I haven't been using Stealth Grid that much because I have no fear. I don't need to hide, but I will use Stealth Grid to get some points, though. Get out of here. We'll actually revive this guy, that might be an idea. I do believe that Stealth Grid does affect the... I think Stealth Grid affects the damage of Avenger Strike, but I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I'm not... <laughs> when I... See, I'm a stupid idiot who likes to uh, make, uh, you know, not brief, I don't know what you want to call it, like class summary videos where I'm actually checking to see what works because I'm just here to just, I'm here to show you what these guys are for. Now, sticky grenades, I've got a sticky grenade, uh, ideally when I rank up, like after I finish ranking up, you know, stealth grid and Avenger Strike, uh, actually Avenger Strike's already maxed out, but when I finish maxing out my uh, stick, uh, 
stealth grid, uh, all the uh, upgrade cards from uh, getting more ranks would be uh, will be used up on on a uh, sticky grenades because sticky grenades are an important utility. Uh, obviously, I have I've put them on the back burner and I've only got one at one point in it, and by proxy one grenades a throw. But if you want a stealth grid and start throwing grenades everywhere to try and clear the place up, that's what you do. But like I said, I'm not specs out in that because I'm stupid. I am stupid enough to fucking back into a hydra though. I always get a bit scared around Hydras, they can sink kill you, but luckily sink kills aren't permanent anymore. They aren't permadeaths. Which uh, I don't know how to feel about that, it's a nice addition, but it's like, now people can just be, can play reckless now and not give a shit. But I still have the fear of death that uh, comes with a sink kill, so... Got a guy trying to use his weapon, fuck it out. Gonna need to use it hit an ammo supply. That's one thing uh, I neglected to mention and also neglect to do when I'm playing myself is uh, you need to keep going doing a world tour of all the uh, of all the ammo boxes to make sure you're well supplied with stealth grids. Assassination. What do you mean? What does it say? That sounds something that this uh, character is suited for, but we're probably going to end up with a uh, what we got? What faction we got? A Blaze Hydra. Oh my God! Did you hear that? I just fucking fired, and it fucking smelled. Well, it doesn't smell of anything, but fuck it, we had no chance. I'm the assassin, I have uh Okay, you had the two fucking annoying guys on him. Okay, where's our next target? That's the Blaze Hydra, I believe. Or is it? No, it's, is it? no, it's just a normal Hydra about to it. Are you actually using a Cobra? Well, I say, fuck you, I'm going to steal your kill. <laughs> he probably didn't like that. Now that melee damage does do quite a bit to armored targets, as you fucking saw. Let's just uh, stab this guy real quick. There we are. Saw that someone trying to steal my kill, but they got the tech combo off of it, off of it, so that's not too bad. But yeah, does just the normal melee does a lot, quite a bit of damage to uh, armored targets. So it's even though it's a blade of some sort. I mean, he looks like he punches him with the hilt of the blade rather, rather than the uh, actual, or, like rather than actually stabbing him. Like the Avenger Strike does look like a backstab. But this is like, it's different. It's weird. This guy's still alive, he's fucking tenacious. Hmm. Fuck it, I'll 
get this guy here. Is that how it is? Is that how it is? We're gonna fu you're gonna fucking use your energy drain as soon as I come out of cloak. Well, fuck you then. I'm unprotected. All right, that's who I aim for. Apparently. Ah, oh, gosh, head fucking right in the head. Uh, oh shit, <laughs> fucking teammate got uh, stomped on. Guess we're gonna get the partial extraction. Ha! <laughs> Fucking hell, Carter. Well, whatever. Hey, we've got a little bit of a support card score. We're a team player. Just a little bit. Not much. Probably could do with a bit, a bit of work. <laughs> but yeah, that was a... Uh... That was the Angara Avenger. Now, that was silver with fucking plus 100 um, melee damage or whatever the hell it is uh, for the hand to hand. That's what it should do. Um, but on gold, it's more, you know, you're going to take, you're obviously going to take, you're going to take more hits to kill stuff. Um, I mean, that's all I can say. It's going to take more hits to kill stuff. But it's a lot of fun when stuff like that happens. A lot of fun, and obviously you could go around stealing people's skills and get. You know, I got a revive medal out of it, so it's not like I wasn't being a team player. Look at that revive support. The proof is in the pudding, or in the medallions, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Melee damage, good stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time on uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. And we didn't level up, which is a shame. Wah, wah.